Adaptive immunity is the third line of defense, typically called the immune response. When outside barriers have been undermined and inflammation innate immunity has been enacted, the adaptive immune response comes into play. It's frequently started by cells with the innate immune system. For instance, a virus gets through the first line of defense and enters the body. A dendritic cell, part of the innate immune system, encounters this pathogen, then proceeds to present certain parts of it, called antigens, to lymphocytes in the lymphoid tissue. Adaptive immunity develops more slowly than the inflammatory response, which means that a unique pathogen is recognized from among numerous microbes and subsequently disposed of. It also involves memory cells, which fills two needs, eliminating infectious microbes that are resistant to inflammation and giving long-term, very effective protection against future exposure to that same microorganism. The adaptive response is mediated by two kinds of lymphocytes, B cells and T cells. B cells are responsible for the humoral immunity response that's overseen by circulating antibodies. T cells are responsible for cell-mediated immunity in which they eliminate targets directly or stimulate various white blood cells. Adaptive immunity can be either active or passive depending upon whether immune response components began in the host or originated from a donor. Active acquired immunity is developed either after a normal exposure to antigens or immunization. Antibodies develop due to attacking microorganisms. In this case, they take time to develop as they must be synthesized specifically for a certain microbe, but are long-lived. Going forward, Every time that microbe attacks, the body reacts much more quickly and strongly. Passive immunity happens when preformed antibodies or T cells are transferred from a donor to a recipient. It can be developed either naturally or artificially. It's naturally obtained when immunoglobulins cross the placenta from mother to fetus during pregnancy. Artificial is through infusion of serum antibodies. It's short-lived as antibodies aren't synthesized and they subsequently don't retain memory cells for the antigen. Plus, the donor's antibodies or T-cells are eventually destroyed. If you enjoyed this video, then hit subscribe for more videos and resources on how to help you succeed in nursing. Have a great day.